be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unaware. Remember them then that are bound in bound, as bound with them and them which suffer adversity, yeah. as being yourselves also in the body. Marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But for mothers and adulterers, God will judge. Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. Just stop at six. Keep going. Okay. Read through six. For he had said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. Do six. Uh -huh. Okay. No, I'm sorry. Just stop at five. Okay. Amen. Yeah. Do five one more time. Let your conversation be without covetousness, and be content with such things as ye have. For he had said, I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. For the next few minutes, I'm going to just share with you from the thought. Act like he's with you. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you so much, oh God. Thank you, God, for those who came to praise, came to worship. Then those who didn't decide but came anyway. We thank you for those who came and just said they wouldn't. Amen. We, we just thank you that they're in the house because if they hear the word, just maybe, just maybe they'll receive it. Father, it's our intentions to give it with clarity, with boldness, with authority. So I thank you now, God, that I can say that you please, oh God, decrease me and be thou increased in me that we can hear what the word of God has to say. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Adelaide, he's with you. In just those few verses, the Hebrew writer, who I believe to be Paul, it is not Paul didn't do what he did in other letters that he written by. He immediately in the salutation in other letters and other books of our Bible that he read, he authored, he immediately introduced himself to the readers. But in this case, Paul chose not to. Amen. Uh -huh. You can't blame people when they change up on them. Amen. Because sometimes, wait a minute, hold up, let me when they change up for the good. Yeah. Amen. All right. When they change up on you for the good, Paul was probably trying to show us, amen, that I, by now you should know who I am. I've written to you enough. I, you've right. heard my sayings. I've been amongst you long enough. Yeah. Every time I see you, do I have to say, hi, this is Paul. Amen. All right. Right. It's just like in the Thank body you. of Christ today. Many of us know each other and after so many years and so many years and so many uh, years of knowing each other, do we have to always see each other, all amen, right, all right. and speak with our formal name, amen. Uh, no, after 25, nearly 30 years, she doesn't have to, have to say to me, hi, CC, I am Sylvia, amen. Right, but right. now I know her voice, amen. Right, right. I know because we've spent time together, I know even if it's yeah. written down, it's, it's something she would say. And what I'm trying to say is Paul is probably telling his audience, by now, yeah, 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 you yeah. should know me. Right, right, Amen. Right. By now, you should know my heart for you. By now, mm -hmm. you should know I mean no evil. By now, you yeah. know that I'm human. By now, yeah, you yeah, should yeah. give me the benefit of the doubt. By uh, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Paul is saying, by now, get over it. Mm. You should know me. Here we are. He doesn't address himself. He doesn't give the salutation generally, his general salutation. In the beginning of Hebrews 1, he just goes on and continues to give ministry. Amen. But here something happens at the end. His final thoughts. His final thoughts to yes. Christian believers. His final thoughts in this letter. His final thoughts. Sometimes, I don't know those of you who may be avid readers, Sometimes we want to rush to the end of the book so we can find out what the author really tried to convey. Amen. How many of you know the best part of the book really is the end of the book? The end of this book, Paul says, I'm going to leave you with a few things. And the few things I want to address with you today is I want to tell you you need to act like God's been with you. You want to act like you have a relationship with the God. 
brotherly kiss. Greet yeah. each other happily. Be glad they're okay. Even if they're not your best friend right now, y'all may have had a tater-tater at the yard sale because uh, you wanted to put a dollar on the sticker. They wanted to put $5 on the yeah, sticker. Yeah, yeah, Get yeah. over it. The yard sale is over. Uh, you still uh, holding on to your uh, sale uh, blues. Yeah. Hallelujah. The yeah. yard sale blues is well over. Amen. The money going to the bank. Amen. Get over it. It's not that deep. Amen. Amen. Yeah, come on, trying to help us get past Paul says in this letter, he says, just treat each other. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, it right now, stand to your feet. Stand to your feet. Come on, we're going to put the word in action. If there's someone you haven't seen in a minute, just go over and hug them real quick. You ain't got to make it a brotherly. Be glad you saw your sister. Amen. Be glad you saw your brother. Come on, hurry up real quick. Just love on them. Amen. Real quick, real quick. Come on, make it quick. You just grab one or two real quick. You ain't got to do the whole church. Amen. Just just greet each other with with love. Amen. He said, I want y'all to know that I'm glad you okay. Amen. It's been hot all week. Amen. I don't know if the sun, I don't know if you have air conditioning. Amen. But I'm so glad you don't have a heat stroke. I'm so glad you're not a casualty of the heat. I'm glad you are okay. I know you've been going through on your job. Amen, Demont. But I'm so glad. Oh. Uh -huh. 